Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I just want to say hello to everybody. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you left you, but I don't mean to step two. Okur. So I just decided to do a pre-recorded video because you know what it's like when you stream live with new technology, with new equipment. Sometimes things go wrong. Um, and I haven't done a live stream in a long time and I've been out of the loop for a very long time. Um, I've been keeping my butt out of the drama. Um, yeah, it's just very toxic and very um, disturbing and very anything else you can think of like that, other adjectives, you know, so I needed a break, I needed to recalibrate, I needed to recharge, I needed to step back. Um, and you know, I've said it many times before in the past, like the clicks and views are nice, they're exciting, they bring in a little bit of coin, but you know, people always say that you should protect your peace. Um, and chasing that YouTube check, um, in the black tea sector, you know, you know, it's very, um, how can I say, dangerous because <laughs> you know people were going to people's houses recording you know you know stalking people uh, people were getting doxxed families were being contacted by social media content creators uh, people's jobs were being called um, fake complaints were being filed at people's jobs like it's just really not that serious do you know what I mean um, and also I had my own issues you know I was um basically like low-key going into depression i hated my job i worked in the factory for two years um although i was grateful to receive the job initially um, i realized shortly afterwards that actually i hated it i'm not a physical person you know i'm not a physical chameleon i am a customer service lip service chameleon i'm not a physical chameleon um so i was just like i'm really not like i've never been a manual labor type of person and i was forced into that um situation you know after pandemic i had no other choice so that's the only job that i was accepted to and that i was able to do immediately and so i stuck with it as long as i could until july 2023 okay <laughs> making sure you get the dates right so i'm still teaching online i teach for various online platforms i recorded some videos a while ago about one of them that i joined in august i'm still working there um i'm still looking for other online opportunities make money online opportunities actually i found um a youtube channel called i think it's called at home with the hintons i think is a black Amer african-american woman obviously black african-american lady she seems very genuine and real and authentic um and she's been providing a lot of work from home opportunities on her channel so if you don't know who that channel is i believe the channel is called at home with the hintons okay i did save one of her videos to a playlist i think i saved it to my watch later playlist but i don't think that's public so i'm going to be like hardcore like going through her videos because she seems like a real one not one of those fake like make money online influencers that you see all over youtube and you know they just seem like they're chatting bullshit. You know, like some people, like they had a full-time job anyway, they had disposable income and then they start making money online and then, you know, they're surviving on their, you know, the money that they already had from their full-time job and then they start to make passive income with the on online side hustle stuff. It's not the same as people who are flat broke, working from like, pay living from paycheck to paycheck, trying to make money online from scratch, from zero. Like most of these influencers, 99.9% .9 of them already had a full-time job, already had savings, already had, um, you know, income streams. So it's really hard when you're literally flat broke zero, you know, surviving on bread, water, pasta, um, and you try to just jump on that make money online um, flex because it doesn't always work for everyone. Do you know what I mean? So I'm surviving at the moment, but I'm not nowhere near where I want to be, you know? So I'm still building on what I have and slowly but surely, you know, the fruits of the loom are being provided. So one of those fruits of the loom is literally like the equipment that I'm recording with today. 
So blood, sweat and tears went into my work over Christmas and New Year's and I was able to purchase a new PC, um, you know, and I'm, I'm managing to keep a roof over my head. Thank the Lord, the spirits of the air and the ancestors and the universe. So mote it be. So like I said before, some people, the journey is quick and some people, the journey is slower. But, you know, everything happens in its own time. OK, and the more you try to force things, the more it goes wrong. So go with the flow. Um, make sure you tick all the boxes, cross the T's, dot the I's and just lay the foundations as much as you can. That's all I can say. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know wh where the direction of my channel is going to go. Um, I'm just going to come here, you know, whenever, wh whenever, wherever, as, as I used to do. Um, I don't really want to get back into the black tea sector, the gossip sector, to be honest. Um, yeah, it was just, I was just like, it was fun. I won't, I won't lie. Like it was fun, but at the same time it was burnt. I was getting burnt out, um, by that content, um, a lot of bad energy, toxicity, um, and yeah, and as they say, birds of a feather flock together, so some members of the community, I didn't want to be associated with them, and having my channel name ringing in those circles and ringing with that type of content, um, you know, I do believe that it did shadow ban my channel, um, the algorithm's completely like effed up as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know which direction I'm gonna go to be honest, but um, yeah, I just wanna at least, you know, get back into the spring of it now that I have a lot of, um, a lot more autonomy over my time as before I was really, really just like a slave to the grindstone before, you know, so yeah. So I do need to get a better camera actually. Um, this one is a fixed focus, full, um, you know, high definition camera, but it's, you know, it's not autofocus. It's a fixed focus that cannot be modified. Um, so if I sat any closer, it would be a bit blurry, which is a bit annoying, but I had to buy it as an emergency purchase um, in August and I haven't got around to buying a new camera. Um, I guess I could use it with some light in front of me. Um, but yeah, I mean, the headset's amazing. I always use the professional singer's microphone. It just serves life. And um, the computer's new. So everything is going very well. Okay. So yeah. Um, so with all that said, you never know what I could <laughs> talk about in future videos but um i will pop in here and there um i might i may give my two cents on some things but i won't necessarily be like trying to be the ringleader or like coming after people or sending for people as they say but i may give my opinion i do miss joining people's live streams like i did enjoy that but me actually doing all the research and getting the tea and like combing through the comment sections to see who's a traitor and all that stuff it was just so much work and all the editing you know and this is it really is you know for people who like to produce like highly edited content it's fun but it does take a lot out of you because i'm a very creative person and i'm ocd as well um so just going like everyone's just live streaming now like no one puts any effort into it i mean some people they are able to you know still do transitions and do screen share and stuff like that and some people do still put effort into their live streams whereas like probably 60 percent of, of most live streamers they literally just sit there and press record so um i'm not saying that everyone needs to have bells and whistles i'm just saying that you know, some people put more effort in than others and, um, you know, so I don't know where I was going with that point, but it was just something that, you know, came out. So yeah, that's it really. Welcome to the humble abode slash office. Um, this chair is like giving me life. I've always wanted a chair like this. 
Um, for me, it's kind of like a psychologist chair. Um, yeah, it's a very professional chair, like psychologist slash, I don't know, like bank clerk type of chair. It's so comfortable. It like keeps me warm, you know, keeps my arms and my back warm. It supports my head. Adjustable, you know, up and down, back to front. What? Come on, nan, nan, tell, holla. Um, I have the keyboard on my lap, but it's fine because I've got long arms anyway. So it's no problem. And the mouse is just here. So it's very like, you know, how you doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah. How you doing? Now? Let me see if, because um, I used to like do little sound effects um, in the middle of the um, the stream. But I've got the free version. I don't have the paid version anymore. So it's not. I don't think it's going to. StreamYard has changed so much. I've got so much to learn. It's changed so much. Acoustic cinematic. Let's listen to this. I don't know how loud this music is. This is a problem. Oh. problem is as well you guys know I love to sing and make music but um, the, the MacBook Air is like the battery needs to be replaced and also it can't update until the latest iOS because they say that it's too old it's like 2013 model so they say that it cannot be um, upgraded so I used to use um, GarageBand on that to make music and I used to use iMovie to edit the videos but now I'm on Windows and back to Windows so it's going to take some like blood sweat and tears to, to see if I can learn how to use a different music editing suite and um, I haven't even tried to edit a video on this uh, desktop I don't even know I don't even know what program I have on this desktop um, there's something called clip clip chimp or something I don't know that's some something that came with it the editing is okay on there but it's not the same as what I used to produce with iMovie so it's like oh my god the sound effects aren't as good as iMovie on the Mac <sighs> but yeah you know as I'm trying to reserve my energies you know bitches, <laughs> bitches aren't getting younger I don't want to be exerting ex excessive energy these days so I may just have to come on and just you know join people's live streams as a guest or just do a random sit down chat like this okay let me just play one more song and then I'm just gonna this song's called Into Space it's a free song that comes with um, StreamYard oh sounds a bit urban I've put on a couple of kilograms so don't watch that Oh, <laughs> I have not been going to the gym like the last time I lifted weights was in like I haven't even lifted weights like from that factory job in August was the last time I did any sort of heavy lifting and for some reason like I'm kind of like I'm kind of filling out a little bit how you doing? okay melanin well So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little random video. I've missed everyone, honestly. Like I've missed my YouTube fam. I just miss, I do miss like the interactions, you know, cause when I discovered YouTube in like 2008, like I was just like, oh my God. So yeah, YouTube would always be my baby. Like Mariah Carey said, how you doing? So yeah, okay. Speak to you soon. I can't wait to read the messages. And yeah, 
Alfredsen. Adios. Okay. <laughs>